Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay, here's uh, footage of one of the female boomers. Uh, <laughs> I'm not used to that uh, sort of uh, shaped head, but she's chowing down a rat pink. Yep, the old, uh, it's eating it like a piece of pizza you fold in half. And definitely, uh, she's drawing blood, that's for certain. Not that the, the rat really needs it anymore. But uh, let's see if we can maneuver where we can... No, I'm sorry, I don't mean to upset you. I was going to try to maneuver to uh, see her fangs, which you don't normally get to see. And I certainly don't want to see all that up close up front. Oh yeah, look at it. You can see it flash right there against the leg. Uh, and it's retractable, actually. Is that yummy, huh? Would you like another? Hold on. I'll get you another. These guys are doing pretty well. Except for the one male that's got, you know, a nose rub. Is that tasty, huh? And that's just, uh, that's just your size. Huh? Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Here, would you like another? Here. There you go. Oh, that's nice, huh? That's very nice. And again, we can see the fang on the mandible. It seems to fold back and get shifted forward, which is real interesting. Let me try to help her with a little bit of the substrate removal. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a sizable fang. She could whack you with that pretty darn good. Okay, she made fast work of that. Would you like some more? Huh? Very cool. Very nice. I know you got a piece of substrate in your mouth. Here. Here you go. Relax. Relax. Here you go. Here you go. You can come get it. Here, have another. Oh, that's nice. Very good. I'm so pleased that you're eating so well. Here, let me see if I can get that little piece of substrate that was bothering you. I'm giving him about six of these or more a week so we can get them bulked up. I gave him one shot of Pancure so far and I'm going to do a probably another over the weekend. Oh, that's nice, huh? Ah, look at that. Too bad this screwy camera didn't focus. Hey, yeah, that was nice, huh? We definitely don't want to uh, get my fingers confused with uh, with pinkies, do we, huh? No. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. That's, oh, now you're gonna now you're gonna do a takeout order, right? Huh? It's an eat and run, fast food. Well, what I'm doing right now is looking around for things that were not eaten as they were intended to. And marking on the cage. Let's see. Um, what is the date today? Um, 10th? You nasty little creature, you.
uh, 410, Ada Gecko. And it looks like the female ate her fuzzy. Or whatever. So 410P for pink. And you, you never have any trouble eating. And you ate your gecko too. Okay. This one's eats both. And you will eat anything that went across your path. Oh, you too. You you want more to eat right now? I can tell. <laughs> oh, get back there, you little toady. That one's eating two at a time. Pink two. Let's see what we got here. Uh, you didn't eat your gecko. I hate wasting food too. It really uh, annoys me. Well, can't be fed to somebody else, so it, unfortunately it goes into the decom decomposition pile. And how about you? And you ate your gecko. Now the large, rather large deathies that live in here eat without any any issues, and one one knows not to violate their airspace because if I put one finger over the top here, uh, my finger is uh, subject to being shot down by the anti-finger ballistic system there. Same thing with this guy, even though he's a little bit more forgiving. How's your cage doing? I just cleaned you out. Are you going to make a mess again? Huh? Okay. You're good. How are you doing? <laughs> Looks pretty inert, but I guarantee if I put my finger down there, it'll bite it. And there's okay. the mobile mouth. She will eat anything that crosses her path, too. I have to be very careful here. The Arutus are very, very uh, active and will come out and greet me. How are you, sweetie? Yeah, you know, should I put you down with your uh, your larger uh, friends, huh? Yeah, you looking for something to eat too, huh? Hey, baby. I call her baby because. Uh, I've had her since she was born, and now she's gonna be three, I think. Only if this camera would focus. And she's lived her almost her entire life in this tray, and I'm afraid if I move her out, she'll get disturbed and go off feed and and everything else. Come. On. It's very interesting I'm trying to get this stupid camera to focus. There we go. How's that? Protobothrops Gerardoni Xanthomelis cam. She's a vicious feeder, or he. I'm not certain which. But, just a very, very nice animal. Yeah, how are you, kiddo, huh? You want a drink? You want a drink, huh? There 
go. She's out there checking it out. She's she's outstretched close to a foot. These are also called red spot pit vipers or Christmas uh, vipers because they sort of have nice Christmassy colors and they have some variability and they're nearly they're really really drab looking when they're uh, just born and they don't really develop this color for some time Okay, well I have to continue here, uh, little girl, or little boy, or whatever you are. Okay, okay. No reason to, to be uh, uh, defensive. There she goes. She goes back into her little hide there. Uh, okay, there's no, no way in the world the Renardi's Vipers uh, didn't eat. These guys would eat anything also. There's the female. She might even try to eat the camera lens. Hello. Hello. She's coming up for a visit. No, it's not edible, is it? Okay. Now, let's see. How are you? Oh, you're in shed. Uh, yeah, I know. But you're clear now. You're clearing up, so... I'm going to have to give you a big drink here in a little while. Now, this is tricky. See, part of the issue is that these are translucent, not only to visible light, but to infrared light. So these guys can pick me up and know I'm, I'm coming before I even get there. So you have to be really, really careful because, especially with the Arutus, they'll reach out and touch you. Here's a, <laughs> a very stained, muddy girl. Oh! Obviously very hungry, and I should be looking at her rather than uh, uh, paying too much attention to what I'm saying. Um, that'll be interesting uh, to see, but uh, I was clear it wasn't going to, uh, to get me, but it was still uh, uh, a warning shot, something to remind me. And here's the puff adder. The puff adder always eats. Now we get back down here to the little guys, and you wait, uh-huh, and you wait, I've got six young Protobothrops cornutus, you seem to have eaten, and you did too. How about you? Yeah, you ate too. Okay, all those guys ate. That's a darn good thing. Okay. Now let's see if our little friend, the water cobra, Ate the two little morsels I left for them, and I believe so. Oh, absolutely. They're gone. Okay, that's a good thing. Alright, so now I can uh, uh, proceed on and, uh, uh, well, for instance, these perps shed. Uh, actually looks like two or three of them shed, uh, maybe all at once. Maybe that's why I didn't want to feed the other day. But um, <laughs> since I've got the camera rolling, it's always interesting when you enter the perp cage because they will absolutely bite you. Huh? Alright, that's obviously, uh, uh, that's obviously your shedding. And it broke so I can't keep that one. <laughs> and then we got this one. 
belongs to one of the other males. <laughs> Look at him looking over the top there. Come on back here, bud. I'll bite you. Hello. How are you? Oh. I know, I see. Who are you? Okay, you're Mr. Lizard. That's Mr. Lizard. He has uh, normal eyes for perps. And uh, red eyes is back there in the corners. And I can't improve this position anything more because she will nail me. Uh, if I do and actually one of these little uh, small perpetrators uh, actually took a swing at me and tapped my knuckle uh, didn't connect with Fang but it was a tap and it was a warning shot to be a little bit more careful around the perps because they will bite and they need no provocation there that. Okay, so let me uh, get going here and uh, move on and do some other things. <laughs>